Whew, that is some hot coffee. Hey everybody, Nitsa Gamer here, and here's another part of Persona 5 Royal, where we have legal action against us in one day, but thankfully we stole the heart of Madarame, so we don't have to worry about that legal action whatsoever. But anyways, um, the next confidant that we need to bond with is Kawakami, but we need to deepen our bond with her. So what we're going to be doing is heading to the Underground Mall. And the reason why is because, well, it's much more easier if you just look up a guide for this, which isn't really considered cheating. But when you go to the Underground Mall, you can get specific gifts that you can give to um, female confidants. So for example, the designer perfume is actually one um, gift that apparently uh, Kawakami actually likes to have. So you can get like the designer perfume, the Castiella, the cheap chocolates, the super noisy alarm clock, high performance electric toothbrush, uh, the best case of KGB uh, 49. Um, so yeah, if we go to um, another shop that is like way down here, so yeah, this, um, and actually some of these are used for accessories. So we can actually get accessories to improve our stats and whatever, which we're ne never going to really get. And of course there's the flower shop, which is our part-time job. And I think this is another accessory Thank shop. Um, and I think this is mostly just to nullify or repel certain attacks or something, or to boost our, uh, our uh, elemental attacks. Welcome. And then here's another uh, thing that we can go to uh, for some gifts. And I think the other thing that we can go to for gifts is actually in this shop right here, which is the electronic shop. And apparently the... Oh, okay. Uh, fast heal. Uh, okay, so there's actually uh, multiple stuff here. So restores uh, that much to one ally. Uh, increases the chance of a critical hit for one ally. Okay, I think this will actually be very useful. But anyways... Um, uh, okay, it doesn't look like we're able to get what I'm looking for. Uh, best case of KGB 49. I'm guessing it's not available at the shop, but it does say that it's in the Shibuya Mall. And I think this is also another spot that you can get some gifts as well. So, um, uh, truffles, and uh, this is another uh, gift that um, apparently uh, Kawakami likes. So we'll get this just in case we need to deepen our bond further. But this is how you um, deepen your bonds with female confidants is by getting them gifts. So now we're going to return back to Cafe LeBlanc and as long as we have a temperance persona for Kawakami oh. then we should be able to deepen our bond pretty damn good. Hi. So it's Becky. Okay, so we're going to call her over. We got a temperance persona. Don't think we can deepen our bond but we're going to deepen our bond by calling her over. And it will still cost money when you're calling her over. So we'll call her over, and then we'll just increase our bond further with her, so... Kawakami cleaned my room. She seems to be thankful that I requested her, so that gives us three points since we have a persona of her arcana. I feel like my bond will grow stronger with her soon, and uh... Wait, what? Uh... Okay, so we don't give her gifts? Okay, I know the gifts are available, so but why don't we give her gifts? Do we have to deepen our bond further in order to give her gifts? I don't know. But anyways, what's up with that old geezer? confession time? So usually you would be able to give her gifts, but at least we deepen our bond so we can deepen our bond further the next time we interact with her. But anyways, this is the part we were all looking forward to, guys: the fallout of Madarame. Oh, is he crying? Hi. I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I uh, plagiarized work. I I tainted this this country's art world and, and even Sayuri. How could I I possibly apologize to to everyone for for what I've done? <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that gets uh, plenty of views on YouTube because this bastard deserves it. He murdered Yusuke's mother. And that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. So yeah, Museum of Vanity complete. Awesome. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? 
On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. Oh yeah, he is so done for. He gets to share a nice cell with Kamoshida, and they can both cry together. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. Oh, come on, no. Throw him in prison. I don't care if he gets beaten up by the cellmates. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Yeah, exactly. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. Oh, <laughs> nothing's impossible, girl. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Oh, yeah, someone really did that. Phantom Thieves, huh? Pleasant Boy. So this is going to be a very important character in this game. And we have actually seen this character actually a couple of times before. Actually, a few times beforehand, but he was never named. And I think we see um, at least twice within the very first part of this Let's Play. And at least another time when we were out with Ryuji during the whole de during the whole thing with Kamashita, we actually have seen this guy a few times, and he will be a very important character. So pleasant boy. Well, we'll see how pleasant he is. Phantom thieves again. And we already know about her. And uh, doesn't that the guy on the right doesn't that look like? Um, uh, what's his name? Nakanohora, the um, the other pupil? If so, then I bet he feels so satisfied to see uh, Madarame confess his crimes. I mean, I bet the artists that have their lives totally destroyed, I hope they get credited for the arts that Madarame had his name under. Because it, it's, aw it's awesome that we avenge the pupils. Yeah, you're very welcome, Nakanohora. Yeah, he even nodded and walked away. So he's satisfied. Do you guys see the news about Matarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Yeah, this will be fun. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Okay, don't let fame get to your head. I mean, that was the problem with both Kamashita and Matarame. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. Everyone who needs it. And, uh, oh crap. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know that? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Uh, re re do, uh, do we know the, uh, the, the, the police on? I think we have to be quiet. Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yes! How can we help you? <laughs> we, we, we were totally not responsible for stealing that old geezer's heart. That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Uh, we wanted some tea. We're delinquents. What do we look like? Hmm? What did you say? Th that was a question. That wasn't me snapping back at you. That was just a question. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke! <laughs> he didn't get much sleep last night. <sighs> well, alright. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? Yeah, I was too busy baning with my teacher. There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. 
Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Way too much time. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. Well, I'm sorry. I just asked him a question of what we look like. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? Well, I mean, you're in the middle of a station. I'm pretty sure people can hear you loud and clear. It'll be fine. Look around. We're the only people worrying about it. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that guy over there is worrying about the coronavirus going around, and you guys are not social distancing. Bad, bad, bad students. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. Yeah, and if it's something that happened within the palace, then it's something that only the Shadow would know and not Madarame himself, so... Unfortunately, pursuing the real Madarame would be worthless. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. Ah, uh, he can have fun in prison all he wants. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw in such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. Huh, okay. At least, um, at least there was a backup if uh, Madarame kicked you out. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. <laughs> you just want to model her naked, dude. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. <laughs> hey, you know, you could always stay at my place, Yusuke. I mean, um, I think you and I could get along very well. I could model for you. Strip it all down, and you can draw me on every single anatomy detail. Okay, I'll stop. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? Yeah, so uh, even though I won't be showing uh, who this next target is in my playthrough since I'll stop sometime uh, in the mid part of this month, um, who is a bigger target than Madarame, huh? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yeah, and I don't think we have exams until after the third palace, so we don't have to worry about prepping for exams. Yusuke Kitagawa. Oh god, she is really onto us. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what um, Sai Son has to say. I always have to put my hand on my head when I'm trying to remember things. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? Well, I barely knew Shio. You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Yeah. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. Yeah. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? It's all the truth. Take it how you will, girl. <laughs> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Yeah, if they ever end up in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. Hey, better if I'm damaged than multiple of us damaged. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Oh, it's uh, Nakano Hora. It's totally not Yusuke. It's Nakano Hora. He was stalking someone, so he's more of a criminal than Yusuke trying to paint a student nude. Go right ahead. I'm not telling. So you won't sell out your accomplice? Hell no. Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. 
It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. <laughs> well, that's the social media for ya. Now your next target was this man. Okay. Junya Kaneshiro. Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Okay, so Junya Kaneshiro, and even the police couldn't get him, so who is this third villain? Well, we'll find out, uh, actually not really that a soon. suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Komoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. Oh, and also the victims seem to be getting together, but nah, they can't be responsible. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Uh, sure. Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. Damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. Well, hey, uh, she can't resist sticking her nose into your business, Shadow the Hedgehog. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. Ruling party member. That face looks familiar, doesn't it? I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Okay, maybe this guy was a lot more of a bigger deal than we thought he was. He was definitely not some drunk man that got us on probation. We know we finally found out that he was some sort of rich guy since he pushed us at the elevator. But no, apparently he's a ruling party member, so yeah, this guy is actually a bigger deal than we think. Phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed. <sighs> if what is exposed? And, uh, what the heck? This is new? Oh. Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you're getting them too. Okay, this is definitely new. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? I truly am great, thankful for me, for. Blah. For you making me come to my senses. Uh, you owe us one. Indeed, I will return the favor someday. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you. Okay. Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. <laughs> he didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyway, that went well for our first job, huh? Uh, technically it's our second, Ryuji. It was a huge success. So, that said, you got time after this? For what? You know. Well, thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. But I totally forgot that they expired today, so you want to go right now? <sighs> Ryuji, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play too, Morgana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. If you're just going to play, then I guess it wouldn't be a problem. Alright then, let's head to this darts lounge or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm on it. This uh, place is uh, Kinju Joshi, uh, so we gotta take the train first. Okay, uh, Kinju Joshi. Oh. What? For real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station there. It's just one stop away from Shibuya, so let's head there for the uh, Inogami line first. So yeah, this is actually uh, something that is not in the original, because I've seen this advertised plenty of times before, 
Actually, can I get my drink? Can I get my drink? Oh, God damn you, Ryuji. I want my fucking drink. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get it in the evening. But God damn you, Ryuji. I'm gonna kill you. But anyways, um... So yeah, I guess we can go down this way. Usually we wouldn't be able to go down this way in the original. But yeah, this is something that I've seen advertised, or we've seen advertised in the trailers. So this is a completely new station that uh, we can go to. And one of the features that we have in this game is the ability to play billards and darts. And apparently playing darts can actually increase our baton pass, if I'm correct, um, as I've seen in the trailers. Oh shoot, I, I just, uh, sorry, I talked over Magana. Now we're heading to an area that's outside where your computer pass works, so make sure you got the fare. Okay, so yeah, when we go to the outside areas, we have to pay a fare every single time. So, the school commuter train pass allows you to travel for free on two railway lines, so um, pretty much anywhere between our school and Yogenjaya and Shibuya. Anywhere between those three stations is free, but pretty much anywhere else we have to pay a fare. So you will have to pay a fare to travel outside of these areas, so make your travel plans accordingly. Alright, anyway, let's head to this new place. Those two. Yes, suspicious, until you realize we're just playing darts into this new place. So yeah, this is this is royal exclusive content here. So this is uh, Kini Joshi, I don't know how to pronounce it. So you can tell it's nothing like Shimboya just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah, looks like there's a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shimboya. Not that I'd really know. It seems interesting. Uh, yeah, it seems interesting. Right? Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Aunt's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'll be fun to come here for some more people. I think the darts lounge is one block up from the main street, right. but since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of other shops on the way. Okay, so I'm definitely going to take this opportunity because I've not, I've, I've never, well, been here before. I've never explored this area because this is completely new. Hmm. Oh, suspicious. I won't suspect that they're going to play something like darts. Maybe they use the darts to change people's hearts. Okay, so what's this shop right over here? Um, so information desk. Hello, we do our best to provide information regarding this area. Hey. Why don't you ask them about the town or whatever? So about the city, what do you recommend? About the stores, anything I should know? Anything I should know? Actually. Actually, anything you should know? Actually, yes, there's something I heard recently about the fried uh, food shop in the pro promenade. Uh, people say it's uh, it's uh, tedious to wait in line. And uh, by nighttime, it's already sold out. So what do we do if we want one? Well, they say on Sundays they make more than usual. So in other words, if you go there on Sunday, and the story I heard ends here. Anything else you want to know? Okay, so come here on Sunday, thanks. Uh, what do you recommend? Um, I know just the thing. Please allow me to explain. You're a miner, correct? If that's the case, if you go past the drinking district and Rua, Rudy, Chukchua, you can find the darts and billiards lounge. It's actually a visual, very casual place and people your age can walk in with no problem. Uh, what about somewhere unique? You know? Oh yes, one of the city's hidden gems is the temple, is, is the temple in the promenade. Uh, it's even popular among young people who are looking for some guidance. Oh, maybe that doesn't really include students like you. <laughs> if you're ever interested, you should check it out. Was there anything else you want to hear about? Okay, we'll, we'll check everything out for ourselves, but at least we know that we have to come here on a Sunday for something. So this is a stationary store. So, my Morgana senses are telling me that this store sells a lot of stuff that suits my taste. What the hell are Morgana senses? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so I'm really glad that we're able to explore these shops, so um, I'm definitely going to take my time to explore these shops. And yeah, it seems like this is pretty much just getting gifts uh, for our for our female confidants. But yeah, we'll, we're, we're definitely not going to get all of them since um, it, it's very damn expensive. <laughs> I guess it would be pretty cool to get a gift from here. Okay, well we're not going to get gifts, it's going to be a waste of time, and we have alleyways. Okay, and uh, what's over here? A secondhand clothes. Hey. Okay, dude, check out that sign on the store. It says, bring your sooty clothing here. Sooty clothes? Hmm. Hey, let's see what they've got. Okay, so is this like an optional place to do laundry or something? Can I take a look at that? Don't worry, I won't steal it. Okay, so at the secondhand shop, you can sell sooty armor on your own. Depending on what the sooty armor was originally, it may fetch at a decent price. Okay, 
So for each clothing item you sell, you will obtain shop points, which can be traded for prizes at the shop. See if you can find something useful. Nice. Ah, this guy's reacting to the clothing that we got from Shadows. Seems like he knows what we're talking about. Okay, I've been here for 40 years, but I've never seen clothing that makes my heart chill. Alright, I'll buy it, but I'll only buy it for the price it deserves. So we have a points card system here. Each piece of clothing you sell here will give you 10 points. Okay, so this will definitely be useful. Once you attain enough points, you can trade them for prizes. Hey Makoto, how you doing? So feel free to let us take that clothing off your hands. Hmm. Not only is he going to buy them from us, but he's going to give us points for them too. We should definitely come back here. So what can I do for you? Uh, I want to sell. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, I guess we'll definitely sell the stuff that we uh, got uh, from Kamashita's palace first. So we'll sell pretty much all of this. And uh, Sudi Heavy Armor. I'm pretty sure this was from Kamashita's palace. So we'll definitely sell all of these. And... Uh, Let's see here. Uh, we got eight of these. So I guess we'll sell seven. And for this, we'll sell one. So that should be good for now. So you sold 18 pieces of clothing. Hmm, I guess that gives you 180 points. Now that you got 180 points, anything else? Let's see the prizes. So trash into treasure. Okay, so I can actually buy with the points that I sell. So this is uh, cures any non-special elements for one ally. Uh, fast acting, disaffecting, lowers accuracy and evasion for all foes for three turns. Okay, that's going to be useful. Uh, build with swift food uh, god, so auto masu, I'm not sure what that is. And a clothing grab bag, so it contains four sets of used clothes. What you get is a surprise. Okay, it's only 50 points, so why not? And I guess I'll get the quick spray and whatever this weight thing is. I always wanted to know what's inside this stuff. Let's take a look. Okay, so an old mythic scarf. Hmm. Not bad. Let's get this again sometime. I hope you like the stuff we had in the store. If you want some more points, just sell the clothes you got. Anything else? Okay, so yeah, that will definitely be a pretty useful shop. So I'll definitely uh, sell my clothes here more often. Wow, that was kind of a weird store. <laughs> but I guess it was pretty fun. Let's check it out again sometime. Okay, um... And Makoto is still here. How you doing, Makoto? You spying on us? Okay, sure. You keep spying on us, girl. And uh, is this where the temple is? Uh, no, I don't want to talk with Ryuji. I want to talk with this guy. So the gentleman-faced monk. Good day. What brings you here? Oh, surprised to see a monk? Fret not. I'm merely a fellow human being who eats and breathes just as you do. The temple is open to the public during the day. You are most welcome to visit any time. Let's come back another time. We got something else to do for now. Yeah, so um, I'm guessing this is definitely going to be useful. So the temple. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to enter it. So I bet having a temple in a shopping district really helps the businesses. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, anyway, so we're just going to keep looking around and seeing what's here. Okay, so the fried food shop. So Sunday is the best time to come here. So holy crap, look at the line. I think I saw this store on TV. Oh, the smell. Looks like their special meat cutlet is their most popular item. Sorry, we only have enough special meat cutlet for the people online right now. Try stopping again at nighttime. Uh... Well, I guess we can't do shit if it's this busy. Okay, so it's best to come here at night. Got it. Anything that we can get from the vending machines? Uh, not really. Um, so what else is around here? Uh, more vending machines and uh, we got another shop that's over here. A Chinese bun shop. Hey, look. Dude, this Noko man looks so much tastier than the ones at the convenience stores. It does. Hey, you guys want to get one? How about it? Welcome. We're selling our hot and fresh Chinese buns here. Ooh, sexy. Okay, so it's pretty much just restores HP. I think I'll pass on this for now. Okay. Man, I wonder what they taste like. I'm totally going to eat one one of these days. Okay. Uh, so, uh... I'm looking at the map and just seeing what's around this area. But yeah, this is the alleyway. There doesn't seem to be anything here except for trash. Damn it, I just hit my elbow. Why is this place such a small place? Come on, let's hurry up to the darts lounge. Okay, so where is the darts lounge? Um, I mean, looking at the symbols, I'm not sure. So the incest, incest shop. Okay, I'm trying not to say the word. Uh, an incest store? Dude, you're, I'm telling you, it seems freakly fishy. 
Wait, hold on. Hey, let's take a look. Ah, a customer. Please enjoy our special perfumes. Okay, so uh, this pretty much increases our persona stats. Okay. Okay, this seems pretty cool, but I'm definitely not gonna get this. Um, I don't get it. But if Morgana's the one saying it, maybe you should come by sometime. I'm definitely not gonna come by sometime. It's definitely gonna be a waste of time. Oh, oh this is the road. Hey. The name of the shop matches what it says on the tickets. It says the Penguin Sniper. Huh. Why did it have to be one of those uh, doofy bird? Or why did it have? Ugh. Why do you give one of those uh, doofy birds a gun? It's not meant to be taken literally. Still, if you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever. Let's check it out. Okay, but first, let's check out the other shops here. So this is the... No, that's not it. Uh, it's over here, so... Uh... No, not the penguin sniper! Uh, I still want to look around. I don't want to go to the penguin sniper just yet. So the, uh, this is apparently going to be a useful place to go to. Uh, I, I don't want to eavesdrop and spend way too much time, but yeah, this is a pretty cool district. I think this is definitely something that I'll visit to uh, more often. And I'm guessing there's a music store that's right over here, so a jazz club? Oh. A jazz club, huh? Seems like a place for adults. Dude, you get jazz? That's cool. Either way, it looks like it's only open at night. Okay, so um, what else have we not been to? I think the only place we haven't been to is the important grocery. Or the imported grocery. They got food from foreign countries? Some of these look pretty interesting. Seems like they got some rare stuff. Let's check it out. Welcome. Feel free to enjoy the taste of countries the world over. Okay, so corned beef special restores 40 HP to all allies. Um, okay, so it's pretty much just restoring HP to all allies, but I think we'll be fine for now. It's pretty pricey, huh? Maybe I'll buy one someday just to see what it tastes like. Eh, it's always good to try foods uh, from other countries, you know. But yeah, it, uh, that's. I think I pretty much explored this entire thing. What are you doing, Makoto? Um, M my, what a coincidence! I know you're spying on us, girl. Don't get me that. Oh, what a coincidence. Okay, anyway, let's go to the darts and billiards. So this is the darts lounge that I got free tickets for. You want to head inside? Let's -a go. Okay, so now you can quick travel to the darts and billiards. Awesome. All right, Bull. That's a new high score. Bull? The center of the target's called the Bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the Bull. I'm pretty sure it's just called Bull's Eye. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Right. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. Right. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. I've never actually played the billiards game where you go backwards. I always go forwards. <laughs> One point. Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. Okay. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Yeah, sounds like fun. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this, Ryuji. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Awesome. Come on, can I at least... Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete! Okay, all this and I don't even increase my bond with Ryuji. Hell yeah! Triple 20! Triple 20. Whoa! He hit such a tiny spot! Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. Awesome. Clap. So do we... We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Okay, so do we finally play this? Zero points right on the dot! 
That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Uh huh. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane, but it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Right. And uh, yes, awesome. Okay, so we do get a baton pass uh, rank up. So. Yeah, apparently, um, as I was looking up the, you know, when you watch the trailers, apparently doing the darts can increase your baton pass for your party members. So baton pass rank two, so an increase in damage and HP recover. So awesome. This will definitely be very damn useful since we're going to definitely be using Ryuji a lot for physical attacks. So definitely a very damn useful um, thing. Although, I will definitely focus more on confidants, so I won't be spending too much time on with the dartboards. So I feel like I understand something better after pairing up with Ryuji. Okay, and we increase our baton pass with Joker, damage up, and health recover up. Awesome. So yeah, the baton pass rank was definitely not in the original, so this is actually a pretty cool feature. The higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful the effects will be when performing a baton pass. Rank 1, increased damage dealt with. Rank 2, increased damage dealt with. Then heal HP after a baton pass. So rank 3, increased damage dealt with. Heal even more HP after a baton pass. And recover SP after a baton pass. And you can verify a party member's baton pass rank on the status screen. Awesome. <laughs> Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game. It can be some kind of training. Depending on how you play. Yeah, indeed. Someone's dedicated. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Okay, let's see how well uh, the cat throws a dart now. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. Indeed. A stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? <laughs> Ooh, what's that? And, uh, what? Oh, yeah, they have pool here, too. What, you only just noticed the pool table? So, yeah, if the darts increases our baton passes, what does the billiards table do? Hmm. This game could be useful, too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late, though. We can come back and play it later. No, I want to find out what the billiards table does. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so I'm not sure what the billiards table uh, increases, but I know the darts increases our baton passes with our party members. Hey. If I remember correctly, you transfer lines at Shibuya, right? I heard customers say that it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? Mm. Wow, it's really gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you could you could still want to check out uh, Kinchi Joji at night, don't you? Don't worry, Nitsa. Worst comes to worst, I got you back. <laughs> Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on that street that bears investigating. Meow. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Picked up some interesting info that you might want to hear. Apparently there's an old man who's been causing problems and- Oh, thanks. Um, more reason to actually go to the district. If you make one wrong move or say something wrong, he flies into rage and it turns into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did, then sues you for damages. So he's like a con artist or like a conflict artist. That's ridiculous. I agree. We can't let this guy go unchecked. Only problem is, knowing he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us the name. But I did hear that he hangs out a lot at the uh, Harmony Alley a lot. Mm. This old man sure does sound like a problem, and if we don't know his name, we can make him have a change of heart. Okay, sounds like our next stop is there. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna uh, complete this request. I'm pretty sure we can hang out with... Uh, yeah, we can hang out with Yoshida, but I think I'm gonna spend the time and actually com uh, get this uh, request. Because I think I might actually go into Mementos um, before I do the social studies field trip. Um, but um, I think I'm gonna do that in the next part though. So yeah, in the next part we're gonna see where this... Um, uh, we're, we're gonna get this uh, request, this uh, Mementos request, and uh, 
Actually, how far have I recorded? Yeah, I think I'm going to stop here because I actually did a lot in this part. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part when we uh, go back to this district and actually find the name for the Mementos request. And we might take on Mementos before our social studies trip. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part when we actually have a drink in the underground walkway. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye.